Welcome back. I am back. Ready to go. So, this is going to be, I am going to show you how to make a nutrient dense shake, a superfood shake, and also a nutrient dense pudding. Okay, it's important for us to be getting intense amount of nutrients uh, for several reasons. One of them being all of our soils are devoid of nutrients, which has a trickle down effect. Our plants are devoid, our animals are devoid, we are devoid of nutrients that we used to have on our earth. Um, so it's good to get wild crafted superfoods into the mix. Remember the binders remove a lot of nutrients, so it's important to keep bringing them back in, okay? So first, we're gonna make a superfood smoothie, okay? It doesn't, it, it doesn't taste amazing. You're gonna you know, probably enjoy the date and acai berry smoothie at your local juicery more than this, but in terms of nutrient content, how it makes you feel, there is no comparison. That acai smoothie becomes McDonald's compared to this, okay? and not the gut healing English McMuffin McDonald's. Okay, so first we're gonna introduce some, uh, actually first we'll just start off with the protein powder, that's how I do it myself. Uh, Garden of Life protein powder. I throw usually a whole scoop in there. Boom, that's vanilla flavored. Also it has stevia. Okay, um, next we will do Pine pollen. So this is survival pine pollen from the pine tree. Or pine tree is a class of different trees, but pine pollen is incredibly effective at boosting testosterone, balancing hormones in both men and women. It's not only for men. What's happening on this planet right now is that uh, basically we are being introduced to astronomical levels of plastics and plastic-like substances, which act like estrogens. And essentially, when uh, we take these into our body in the many different ways uh, throughout living in normal society, um, our hormones become all out of whack and we over-feminize the body. Our bodies become over-feminized, which is both men and women is not good. For men, it leads to infertility, many other issues. For women, it will lead to like tumors and cancers and stuff like that. So the pine pollen is amazing for creating an anabolic state in our bodies, not catabolic, right? And uh, helping all the cells grow and helping the body remove the plastics and estrogen-like substances. So the dose here I think is like a teaspoon on this thing. I don't even, you know, like I said, I, I rarely read the doses. I just feel it out. Um, the dose is probably a teaspoon on this and I, okay, 1.5 teaspoons per day, you know, I, that was just a, that was just 1.5 teaspoons right there. I probably put, you know, that's, eh, I probably end up using three teaspoons in mine, like two, uh, you know, that's probably how much I use in each one. That's probably, uh, you know, two, 2.5 teaspoons. Remember dosing, not critical, especially with superfoods. Um, so next is Hemp seeds, the raw food world, organic hemp seeds. Great fiber, many different amino acids. You can do two heaping teaspoons there. If anyone's wondering, this is a teaspoon, that's a half a teaspoon, it's from Jing Herbs. <clears throat> do a heaping teaspoon of raw food world chia seeds. They're my favorite chia seeds. They're my favorite company for a lot of superfoods. Next we have maca from the raw food world. Um, <clears throat> the best maca is actually black maca. It's highest in nutrient content. It's the most potent. All the studies on black maca have come back with significantly better results. Um, so maca is amazing for balancing hormones. It also has a ton of amino acids, protein. It's a really, really complete, amazing food. Um, so what you want is you want to decipher uh, between what type of maca you want. I would say black maca is the best for a wide range of people. It's also most expensive. There's also red and yellow maca. Um, well, it's actually, there's really only, uh, I think yellow maca is regular maca. Um, anyway, 
Uh, then you want to make a distinction between whether you want raw or gelatinized maca. Raw maca has all of the life force, all of the nutrients intact, but it's harder to digest. Gelatinized maca makes a lot of the nutrients easily assimilable for our bodies. So if you have really strong digestion, go towards the raw maca. I started with gelatinized, now I like raw. If your digestion is a little weak, uh, stick to the gelatinized black maca if you can. It's more expensive. I typically use a heaping teaspoon. Uh, you know, it ends up being closer to two teaspoons uh, in my smoothies. Um, next, we have Raw Food World Kamu Powder. Kamu, as everybody must know, is loaded in vitamin C. Uh, high. It's very high in vitamin C and other antioxidants and really just awesome stuff. You can use a full teaspoon. Um, and uh, I love raw food worlds. Sun food makes a good combo as well. And vitamin C is good. These things all work synergistically, right? They all work together. And vitamin C tends to be one of those things that makes everything else better and stronger. Speaking of vitamin C and sun food, maki berry. Another really, really powerful berry. It's like acai, kamu, and you know, and makai, maki are really the strongest berries. Um, and you can do a full teaspoon of this bad boy, uh, even more. It, the awesome added benefit of maki is the flavor boost. Low glycemic, if any, there's, there's one gram of sugar for a tablespoon. And um, also it uh, makes your smoothies purple, which makes them, uh, you know, feel better. Um, my man Jeff over here, I just made him a smoothie an hour ago and he is just supercharged. He's like tweaking out like the guy on South Park. Um, but, uh, you know, he's hanging in there. He's all right. Um, no, it was just he, but he said, you know, he was like, wow, I could feel these nutrients like right off the bat. One of the things is you want to drink this slowly. You want to chew it. It's just so much going on. You can't chug this bad boy. You got to drink it slowly, mindfully chew it. So you enzymes coat it. Next we have Lukuma. Lukuma is not necessary, but it's amazing for really making the flavor more tolerable. It has like a maple flavor, and I just add a full heaping teaspoon into most of my smoothies, sometimes two teaspoons, uh, just for the added flavor benefit. It's another low glycemic sweetener. Um, next, Makuna. This is a, it's a supplement, rather than not necessarily a superfood, but it's a bean uh, from a tree and really amazing at boosting L-DOPA, uh, boosting L-DOPA, which essentially uh, aids and boosts dopamine. So it's really good for people with Lyme, really good for, for me with my mercury poisoning, I had this crippling uh, like um, excess mental chatter. It was like a narration going on 24 seven of everything that I would do. It would like repeat in my head, like touching computer, reaching for Makuna and it was like nonstop and it was really difficult and it sometimes it still rears its head maybe once a month or so, but it was 24 seven for me and Makuna has been really helpful at reducing that, removing it. Um, so I would generally use three of these. Um, we'll just do one for now. Um, uh, you could start with, these. Are, it's strong, start with one, work your way up to three of these. Next is marine phytoplankton from Sun Food. You could put anywhere between one and two dropperfuls of this in the uh, smoothie mixture. Uh, this is, has amazing loaded, another complete food like colostrum, loaded with amino acids, vitamins, minerals, omegas, uh, just everything. Uh, honestly, so much that the body needs is in, is in uh, marine phytoplankton. So also antioxidants. Um, so uh, remember, it's, uh, the, our, the ocean is so powerful for us because our plasma and our blood is so similar to the seawater. So a lot of the answers are in the sea, okay? Um, next, we'll do green coffee powder from Ogeo. Not necessary, but I happen to have it on hand and thought it would be cool to share with you guys. You can start, you know, start small with this, but work your way up to a half or a full teaspoon. Um, a lot of antioxidants in green coffee. Next, we'll do mimosa. Mimosa for the parasite uh, benefits. You want you don't want these nutrients going to the to the parasites. You want them going to you. So you you know you give you give them a bunch of nutrients and enough mimosa so that they can't really tolerate it. 
you know, a half a teaspoon of mimosa so that the whole thing is, that's maybe what you were tasting. You were like, something in here is real strong. And that mimosa tends to kind of throw off the flavor a bit, but it's worth it. And just like beer when we were 18, you end up be developing a, a flavor for, the, a, a taste for these things and you end up craving them, even though at first they don't taste so great. Next, I'm gonna speed it up a bit here. We got a lot more to talk about. Next, I'll just do a, a heaping teaspoon of coconut oil to make all the nutrients somewhat liposomal, right? The fat helps the absorption of all the others. Not quite liposomal, but as close as we can get. And some other supplements you can add in there are Awaken the Shen and Dragon Bone. Um, these are my two favorite Chinese herbs for, um, for just well-being, um, from Jing herbs. Awaken the Shen has really spirit lifting qualities. Dragon Bone's really calming and grounding. I typically add a teaspoon of each of these in the smoothie. Um, very expensive stuff, awesome stuff though. And, um, and lastly, in the smoothie, make sure I got everything. You can also put colostrum if you'd like. Shilajit is another superfood. Lastly, we'll add two full droppers of sweet leaf stevia, okay? you don't like stevia or you're buy into the whole hype about it being a birth control, you can try Dragon Herbs Sweet Fruit Drops or Raw Food World's Monk Fruit Extract. Now, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but I'll move it in the middle. <clears throat> Magic bullet. It's gonna be loud, sorry guys. You'll let it sit for a little bit, for the, let the chia soak up, blend it again, and there you have it. You have a beautiful purple maki superfood. Oh, you know what? I got a dirty glass here. This isn't going to be a great, uh, you know, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'll just show it to you in here. But yeah, basically, beautiful superfood smoothie. Drink it slowly. To me, it's delicious. Uh, drink it slowly though, and uh, coat it with your saliva. You basically want to eat it, chew it. Okay, next, power pudding. In Latin,